Hey guys, we're just going to do some number and algebra practice today. So our first problem is, a dress is marked down by 20% and placed on a clearance rack on which is posted a sign reading, take an extra 25% off already reduced merchandise. What fraction of the original price is the final sales price of the dress? So if the dress is marked down by 20%, then that means that we're going to pay 80% of the price. So 80 over 100 of this X original price. So if you reduce that, it reduces down to 4 fifths of the original price. That's if it's marked down by 20. But it also says to take an extra 25% off. So to take an extra 25% off, we're going to pay 75% of that reduced price. So 75% is equal to 75 over 100. So we're going to multiply that by our already reduced price, which is re like 75 over 100 is reduced to 3 fourths. And multiply, multiply that simplifies to 3 fifths x. So the final price is 3 fifths of the original price. All right, the next one we'll look at is this. It says the ratio of employee wages and benefits to all other operational costs of a business is 2 to 3. If a business's operating expenses are 130000 per month, how much money does the company spend on employee wages and benefits? So the ratio of 2 to 3 is equal to 2 fifths because 2 to 3 means that as a whole there's 5. So there's 5 sections and it means that 2 of those. And the other three is obviously this three. So if we want to find out two fifths of 130,000, you can multiply it like this, or you can look at it as each fifth is 26,000. We have two of those, so 26 and 26 is 52,000. Or as I said, you can multiply two fifths times 130,000, and you get $52,000. So lastly, we want to simplify 2 plus 3i over 4 minus 2i. So first, here's our original problem, and what we're going to do first is multiply the numerator and the denominator by the denominator's conjugate, which is the opposite of that. So then, we're just going to do foiling, so 2 times 4 is 8, and then 2, two times 2i is 4i. 3i times 4 is 12i, and 3i times 2i is 6i squared. And the same thing with the bottom, so 4 times 4 is 16. Next we have a negative 8i and a positive 8i, so they cancel. And then we have a negative 2i times a positive 2i, and that's negative 4i squared. So then we reduce this, we just add like terms, such as this combines to 16. Also what we did here was, since we have i squared in the numerator and denominator, we just like canceled that out, so we're left with this. So then, we reduce this down by adding the 8 and the negative 6, so that gives us 2, and we also add the 16 and the 4 to get 20. So then we reduce this by saying 2 over 20, which is equal to 1 tenth when reduced, and 16i over 20, which is reduced to 4 fifths i. And we wrote it in this form because it is a plus bi form. That's all for today.